Sensitivity analysis, also called what-if analysis, is critical for understanding the robustness of a design. It allows you to understand how a changing input will affect the choice of least cost system. It's easy to perform a sensitivity analysis in Homer Pro. The sensitivity variable editor buttons are found throughout the software. Click these buttons and you will have the opportunity to perform a sensitivity analysis. For example, if I'm in my generator component in the design view, and I look down at the fuel price currently set at $1 a liter, I can click on the sensitivity variable editor button. Once I've done that, I can then ask Homer, well, what if the price isn't $1 a liter? What if it's $1.25 a liter or 75 cents a liter? Before I go on, I'd like to point out this link with drop down menu. This enables you to perform linked sensitivities, which are a very handy advanced feature. We're not going to cover that topic here in this quick introduction. So I'll click OK and then click Calculate to get results. Once the calculation finishes, Homer Pro will automatically switch you from the design view over to the results view. You'll immediately notice that the top table, the sensitivity cases table, now contains a line for each of the three sensitivity values that we are evaluating. Each line contains the overall winner also known as optimal or lowest net present cost system at the indicated sensitivity value. You can see that when I click on one of the sensitivity cases, for example, $1.25 a liter, Homer Pro loads up all of the system designs at that sensitivity case in the optimization cases table below. You'll see, you will also see that the system at the top of the list, the lowest net present cost system, is the same system design as shown in the sensitivity case table at that sensitivity value. So we have run a sensitivity on one variable, fuel price. However, you can run a sensitivity analysis on more than one variable. For example, we could also run a sensitivity on the discount rate. To access the, access the discount rate, select the project ribbon and then click the economics button you can see that we've already used a discount rate of 8%. We click the sensitivity variable editor button. We can add more sensitivity values. Let's add 12% and 16%. Click OK and then click calculate to get results. You can see from the table that we ended up with nine sensitivity cases, three from the sensitivity on fuel price times the three sensitivity values from the sensitivity on discount rate yields nine sensitivity cases overall. In addition to this tabular format, where you can compare the optimal systems at each of the sensitivity cases, you can also view graphs that describe your sensitivity and optimization results. Homer Pro includes a lot of different graphical tools for evaluating the impact of changing sensitivity values, as well as for evaluating the optimization space. To access these, click on the graphic button here in the upper right. Today, I want to show you the optimal system type plot. This graph shows you the optimal category or system type across the range of sensitivity values we have evaluated. The red region represents the sensitivity values where generator, PV, and battery category is the lowest cost system. The pink in the lower right represents the area of the sensitivity cases where the generator and battery systems are the lowest cost. Thank you for watching the Homer Software's training series. We are here to help you. If you are a trial user, please contact us at support at homerenergy.com for more information on how to become a licensed user. We have additional training available for our licensed users. Visit gethomertraining.com to learn more.